Hello, and welcome to the Citators Tour, How to Use Shepherds. In this presentation, we will go over what is the Shepherds Citation Services, the historical background, how to get to Shepherds, how to determine your case and whether it's still good law, using Shepherds graphical views, using Shepherds to identify potential splits of authority, and using Shepherds as a tool to find more authority. So what is the Shepherd Citation Service? Well, Shepherds is a citator, a list of all the authorities citing a particular case, statute, or other legal authority, and the associated treatment, meaning how they reference the case in a positive, negative, or neutral manner. Additionally, Shepherds provides the appellate history of your case as it worked its way through the court system. The verb shepherdizing, which you'll hear uh, with reference to any type of citation services, refers to the process of consulting shepherds to see if a case has been overturned, reversed, questioned, followed, or simply cited by later cases. Available exclusively on LexisNexis, Shepherd serves two important purposes. First, as a case validation tool to ensure your case is still good law, and second, as a comprehensive finding tool to locate additional relevant authorities. Shepherd's content is very current, updated within 24 hours. It's very complete, it provides you with a full range of editorial analysis, both positive and negative, and it's comprehensive, including federal and state jurisdictions and published and unpublished opinions. Today we're going to focus on using Shepherds as a validation tool to ensure the cases we are referencing are still good law. On Westlaw, they do have Keysight, which is a citator service, and there's also a citator service on Bloomberg, but we're going to focus on uh, Shepherds. So why are we focusing largely on Shepherds? Well, Shepard started over 135 years ago. 1873, Frank Shepard started his legal service of publishing these lists of citing references. Frank was not a lawyer, but rather a door-to-door -door book salesman. He saw a need, and he filled it. The citations were printed on gummed perforated sheets, which were pasted onto the page of a case known as stickers. This became quite bulky, so Frank came up with a published bound book version of Shepherds that were updated via pamphlet or paper supplements. In 1996, LexisNexis purchased Shepherds and made a large investment in providing an easier to use Shepherds interface online. The improvements are so extreme that shepherdizing on Lexis Advanced is likely the only way you will use this product. Be very thankful for that. The books, not fun to use. Now let's work with a sample assignment. You've been asked to check the status of a case called McNeil v. Economics Laboratory, which is located in 800 Fed 2nd, 111. The attorney you are working with has used this case in the past to support a claim for front pay in an age discrimination case. You need to determine if this case is still good law. You will need to retrieve the case, read it completely, identify the relevant headnotes, and shepherdize it to make sure it is still good law. There are two ways that you can shepherdize a case. One is starting from the search bar, and the other one is actually starting from the document itself. But let's start from uh, the search box. What you want to do is log into Lexis Advance, and in the red search box along the top, Enter your case citation preceded by SHEP, S-H-E-P. So for example, we will enter SHEP colon 800 F second 111. From the document, while viewing a case on Lexis Advance, just click the Shepherd Signal or Shepherdize button. We'll retrieve the case first, review it, and then we're going to shepherdize it. How to determine if your case is good law. First, retrieve and read the case. In the red search box, you've entered 800 F second 111. Now let's assume we've read the case. Scroll towards the top where the case brief is located. Below the case summary is a LexisNexis headnotes or issues addressed in the opinion. For our purposes, let's assume headnote 14 and 16 are the relevant headnotes. 
Notice the red stop sign on the McNeil case indicating warning negative treatment is indicated. Let's see how this negative treatment impacts the case's rulings on front pay. Click on the symbol to retrieve the Shepherd's report, or you click the Shepherdize button at the top of the navigation bar. Shepherd signals. Notice the red symbol at the top of the case. This is one of several graphic signals you may see on a case, providing you with a high level of indication as to the nature of the type of information you will find in the Shepherd's report. It is not enough to rely on the meaning of the Shepherd's symbol alone to determine if your case is still good law. You must retrieve the report. Now let's look at the Shepherd's signals and their meanings. A Blue octagon with an A means citing references with analysis is available. The blue A shepherd signal indicates the citing references in the shepherd citation service contain treatment of your case that is neither positive nor negative. For example, it's been explained. The blue I shepherd signal indicates that citing references are available in the shepherd citation service for your case, but the references do not have a history or treatment analysis. For example, the references are law review citations. Warning. The red exclamation point shepherd signal indicates the citing references in shepherd citation service contain strong negative treatment of the section. For example, the section may have been found unconstitutional or void. Your shepherd report is divided into three categories represented by tabs at the top of the report. Appellate history provides the events in the litigation chain of your case so you can follow its path through the court system. Citing decisions list the cases that have cited to your case and how they treated your case. Citing references, treatises, etc. list law review articles, treatises, statutes, court documents, restatements, and other secondary sources that have cited to your case. This would be very helpful if somebody gives you a case and asks you to build off of it. So start with the appellate history tab. Look primarily at the subsequent appellate history. Is there any event that might impact your case? The Citing Decisions tab. Citing cases are arranged by jurisdiction, starting with the home jurisdiction, then the highest court to lowest court. So, if you shepherdize a Florida state case, the Florida citing cases will be first, followed by U.S. courts, then followed by the states alphabetically. Narrow by filters. These are extremely helpful in providing a breakdown of this report and are customized to the particular report you're viewing. Analysis filters is based on signal values. You can filter by individual treatments or select multiple options. You can also see the number of cases that treat your case in this manner. Court filters allows you to choose by jurisdiction. Headnote filters refer to the headnotes of the case that you shepherdize. This allows you to zero in on those cases that cited your case in the context of very specific issues. View the text of headnote links lets you see the text of the headnotes without having to go back to the document itself. Terms within results allows you to search the text of the citing cases using key terms. The timeline filter applies to the report and displays it by date. Editorial phrases assigned by the Shepherd's editors to reflect how the citing cases treat your case. Note the little colored boxes next to the phrases above each case name in your citation list. This gives you a quick way to determine that a citing case treated yours very negatively, mildly negatively, or positively. Link to citing decisions will open the citing case in a separate tab positioning you at the first mention of your case. There is a tool, na Navigate References, in the top toolbar to get any subsequent mention of your case in that document. Pinpoint Page link opens the doc in a separate tab, positions you at the point page. This is handy when citing case has treated your case multiple ways and you want to get to the specific type of treatment. 
is McNeil versus Economics Laboratory still good law? Well, now that you have a good foundation of how Shepard's organizes the information and what the tabs and associated features mean, let's answer our question of whether this case is still good law. We see in the narrow by options that this case has been overruled in part by once and overruled as states in once. We need to see if this impacts the issue in the case we are interested in. Click on Overruled in Part By, and this will take you to the Costin v. Plitt Theaters case. You will need to read the case to determine exactly what issues were overruled. You can click directly to the relevant portion of the case via pinpoint page 836. Let's assume, after reading the case, we determine that the issue Costin overruled do not deal with the issues of front pay we are interested. This means McNeil is still good law for our purposes. Now let's assume after reading the case we determine that the issues cost and overruled do not deal with the issues of front pay we are interested in. This means McNeil is still good law. Citing decisions grid. Click on the grid link on the Citing Decisions tab. You have two grids. Top grid shows level of treatment versus jurisdiction, and the bottom grid shows level of treatment over time. Clicking on a box will impose two filters. A quick way to narrow your report. Clicking on a column or row header will impose one filter. Grids are a good way to spot potential splits of authority. Appellate history map for 188 F3rd 394. This citation provides a better example of explaining a history of your case uh, via the map feature. The map provides a visualization of the appellate history of your case. The star refers to the case you shepherdized. Click on the node and a pop-up details appear including a link to that document. A red direct path highlight appears while the rest of the chain is receded. This gives you the direct path back to your case, allowing you to quickly determine which cases you need to look at uh, to determine. Using shepherds to identify splits of authority. As we've learned in the McNeil case, most cases stand for more than one rule of law or legal issue. As we've learned, a red signal does not necessarily mean your entire case has been overruled. There are two types of splits of authority. One where you have a line of citing cases treating one holding negatively, while a separate line of cases expressly follows a different holding in the case. The other type of split of authority is a jurisdictional split, where one jurisdiction overrules or otherwise negatively treats a case, while a different jurisdiction expressly follows it. Let's take a look at the Citing Decisions Report in McNeil. Notice the narrow by options. You have a variety of cases that have treated holdings in McNeil differently. Under Analysis, click Select Multiple and select both Warning Options and Followed By. You will see cases that treat a holding in your case negatively and another holding it positively. Shepherds is a tool you will use extensively in law school and in practice. Today, we've reviewed what the Shepherd Citation Services is and how it helps you determine if the case you want to reference and use to support your claim is still good law. We looked at a variety of ways you can refine your Shepherds reports using the narrow by filter options to quickly get to the information you need to answer the good law question. If you prefer the graphical view, you can use the appellate history map and citing decisions grid. Shepherds is also a great tool to find more authority, and we'll cover that separately. Thank you for listening to the Citators Tour. Happy researching!